Hello, my name is Sanka and I'm a modder for Bone Lab. I mean mods and all that, yeah. And yeah. Um so in today's video I'll be teaching you how to make your own mods in Bone Lab. Like yeah, make your own mods. So first of all, before you actually do anything, you must get Unity. So to do this, press download. This should okay. Um, don't don't. Okay, I'm gonna censor that because I don't want my downloads. But just wait for that to download. <coughs> and yeah, open it when completed. So just wait. My internet is so crap right now. Um, yeah. So this will take a while for me. I'm just gonna speed this process up. Okay, so after that's done, just click on open it. Yeah, press allow. Yes. Now I should say this. I agree. Install. Install. Press finish. And then it should run. I have to update mine, I think. I don't know. It should open with my stuff. Yep, alright. So, when you. Well, when it's open, this is what I'm gonna do. You don't wanna click new project because you don't have a version yeah you don't have a version installed so you need to install another thing which is a version of unity so just search up oh yeah press install editor don't like search it up press install editor i mostly use um, other versions um i mostly use 2021.3.21 and then just install it this might take a couple hours a couple days a couple months a couple years i don't know how fast your internet is but mine is really shit and i i i don't know why okay so next after you've done that now you want to click on new project 3d built-in render pipeline because that's the only one you can actually use and just type in um freaking um uh, bone lab map or something like that i just don't yeah. uh, after you've named your project just click create project or new project or, and then you just wait all right so after you've done that if you come up and you're like what the flip do i do here? what is all this probably probably most likely not i mean most <laughs> i would suggest you like change the layout a little bit like that that seems more beautiful or you could put it like I, I don't i don't it doesn't matter so after you're in your thingy thingy majiggy jiggy this is what i want to do next so come here to a window package manager you should be here right go here down to project settings all right so now just you should come here say new scoped registry but uh, yeah stay on this do not yep you'll only update these three boxes so yep so type in what is on the screen right now i'm gonna do, i'm just gonna copy it off because i'm too lazy to actually remember it um yeah but it should i don't know all right now after you've applied the stuff oh yeah my bad my registries my bad my registries not my assets all right so you want to click on marrow sdk so just click install click the install button yeah. and then the it's gonna take a little bit say 1.2.0 oh, that's like the newest sdk version um this is gonna take a little while i'm just gonna go on tiktok for a little bit and scroll and do some random stuff while this downloads so just bear with me here Alright, so after it's done downloading, this is what this is what you want to do. So basically, you want to do this. You want to open, you want to click that 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 thing, yeah, yeah. And make sure you have a download of Bone Bone Lab on your computer. So if you have like, yeah, for example, I have it on my computer. It's all good, it's all safe and all that. If you don't, um, I don't know. But if you have it on your Oculus, then you can download it on your PC, just get- I'm gonna do a whole tutorial on that sometime, but I'm not gonna get into it right now. So, you wanna press that little 
thing that looks like a, an apartment. I don't know. Orange, just create, let's, let's click and create and palette. Name this test, test, boo, boo. All right, name that. I don't, it doesn't matter. I mean, it does. So name it what you want. Now just put the author, put my name on there. All right now, boom, boom, it is created. All right, so next you want to create. Now next, you could go on this test, test, bro thing. And then you just want to click on new crate, level crate. Then this should appear. This should appear. Then you want to type in test, test, bro. So sick. I, d I don't know why I put that. Then you just want to put default mouse and you can put if you want. I, I put it so it has everything in it. <coughs> and then just click create. Boom. Now your thing is created. And then there's this monster, which is not a monster, but I mean. Alright. Anyways, this is a player marker right here. This is where the player spawns. Now, all of this is basically useless. It doesn't really matter. It's like a reflection pro. And then here is a zone. If I can get it working. Hold on. Zone A. Yeah, this is the zone. This is a zone right here. And a zone is used for like music. So, to put music in, this is what you do. So, zone ambient, ambience, amb, 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 I don't know. How <laughs> First of all, just click on this green bit. Click on it. Click on the green bit and then say zone A. Which be green. Now, here in the inspector, where it says inspector, you just scroll down and then it says zone ambient. <laughs> uh, 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 ambience. Alright, whatever. Then, see ambience, ambient, crap. This is gonna be the music. So just. I don't know. Get some music. Um, uh, and then just get out and go. If like you get out, click off, click on the green bit again. Go on the zone thing. If you like your music, keep it. If you don't, um, anyways, that's what you do. Now, if you want to create your map, but you don't have a map, like you don't have any object, so I mostly go on Sketch Fab sometimes. Search your Roblox map, boom. Glass houses, Roblox map border, treasure map. Crossroads. This is probably where I made crossroads. I think this is not. Doomspire Brick Battle. Smith and Wesson. Um. Keep. Okay, what? Okay, no. Slenderina. Slenderina's mom. And. What? What is all this demon hat cut? Cowboy Revolver. M1911. Machine. Okay, just. No, I mean. Map. The glass houses, for example. Yeah. This is glass houses. Yeah. I'm just gonna insert a map of mine. Map of mine that I have, which is crossroads. Click on the crossroads. I mean, not. I mean, the folder name with the yeah. Now it should come up with this. This is what I'm gonna do now. So when you select your, and then it should be like an object. Cross dot obj. That basically means object, and you can insert it in. As you can see, I've inserted it, and it is very big. I need to adjust it because it's so big. So just find your perfect size this for your map i suggest like you look at the character where is the thing oh it's right there. i suggest that you like uh try to match it up with the character oh god that's a little bit too high oh crap cut that down right there i think that's okay for the character in my opinion <coughs> it's a little bit too big so just size it however you want yeah add random stuff i don't know add random stuff Roblox dancing banana sure add that too um fucking so okay there we go now just add adjust it what's dancing banana for fuck's sake there we go size it how big you want so big banana big banana equals big cool you next to this cool thing which i haven't figured out in years what is this i keep on seeing on Roblox. what the Frick is this? I, I don't know. Yeah, maybe we got a big dancing banana from Roblox. Or, yeah. And we got the character right here. Now you can put this anywhere, really. Put it anywhere. It's right here. Right here. Yep. It's cool. <coughs> Alright, this is what you want to do now. So, you want to. Yeah, yeah, hear me out. Click on the asset warehouse thing. That thing, that icon right there. Click on that. You can also put it inside your thing. So, like, right there. Yeah, that's cool. And then, you just want to click that. Then, you just want to press pack palette. But make sure you have the ball lab dependency. Doing that. And then you just want to click pack for quest or pack for PC. PC should work or quest, I don't know. Click pack for quest or PC, whichever one you main. We use. I mainly use quest. 
I'm not gonna use this, but I will put it in the description on Modio. So just wait a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Be, be patient. Um, yeah. So just be patient. Why is it not packing? I don't know. But it, it should say open, open um palette. So if it says open palette, click that. The file should be there. Drag it into a zip folder. Make a zip folder. Somehow, somehow, I'm gonna throw you things. It's just this video's too long. But yeah, after done that, this one, yeah, this and that, this and that. Just put that, right? Put that, yeah, yeah. Insert the file. Insert the file. Put it on mod. Oh, get mod. Do that. And then you made your mod. Wow. Um, I'll make another tutorial on how to like add your mod on mod.io. I don't want to put it in a video.